Hi everyone, this is Steve Johnson, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can erase the history and usernames and passwords in both Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox. Now this is important to do because if students are switching computers a lot, then there's a possibility that the browsers, browsers being Google Chrome and Firefox, can remember usernames and even sometimes passwords. So what I'll do first is I'm going to show you how to uh, change the uh, history by erasing it and make sure that usernames and passwords are not saved within Google Chrome. Now I'm working on a Windows computer as you can see, but the browsers are very similar on the student's Acers, so it's definitely the same idea, even though it might, the, the screen that you're looking at right now might be a little different than the student's screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Google Chrome. And again, this is what Google Chrome looks like right here. So I'm going to open up a Google Chrome page, which I have right here. And the first thing I want to do is I want to clear the history. So I'll, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to this upper right-hand corner where it says Customize and Control Google Chrome. I clicked on it. I'm going to go to History. I'm going to click on History. And then you see that there are some uh, websites that I have visited. And I'm going to clear those websites right now by clicking on Clear Browsing Data. Now, you might want to make sure that you want to clear everything. So you might only have like these first four checked. Sometimes these four aren't checked. So you want to make sure that you check all of these right here and then click Clear Browsing Data in order to clear your history. Now again, this is important because students would want to do this in order to clear out their username and password that might have been saved. Now I'm going to go back to Google. And I'm going to start over again because now what we want to do is we want to ensure that usernames and passwords are not saved. And a way to do that is to click on this Customize and Control Google Chrome icon again. And instead of going to History, go to Settings. Now when you go to Settings, you'll see that you have many settings that show up. What you want to click on is you want to click Show Advanced Settings. When I do that, I'm going to scroll down just a bit, and you're going to see that Passwords and Forms shows up. Now, these are, should be checked already, um, but you might want to uncheck these. Now, you might want to uncheck this because it says, as of right now, Chrome is going to enable autofill to fill out web forms in a single click. That's going to remember things that you fill out in different fields. So you you might want students to unclick that so that things aren't remembered. Also, do you want Google Chrome to offer to save your web passwords? Um, do you want to click on that, uncheck that so it doesn't offer to do it anymore? If you click on Manage Passwords, you can see that what the saved passwords are, and you can see sites which uh, never save passwords. They'll show up right here as well. Okay, now that we've gone over Google Chrome, the next thing that I'd like to go over is Firefox and do the same thing. So I'm opening up Firefox. It looks just a little different. I'm on yahoo.com's page. Um, but you can see that it also has this button up here, this icon. That when I hover over it, it says Open Menu. So I want to clear the history. So I clicked on the button, and now I'm going to click on History. And what I can do is I can click here to clear recent history, or I could, on the keypad, click Control, Shift, and Delete to clear recent history as well, which might be a really good thing to do with students to do it quickly. So I cleared the history, and I'm going to clear everything. So now the history is cleared in um, Firefox. Now I want to do the same thing as far as making sure that uh, usernames and passwords aren't, aren't uh, you know, still saved. So I'm going to click on this button again. And instead of history, I'm going to go to Options. So I just clicked on Options. And you want to make sure that security is highlighted. So click on security, and then click on saved passwords. Now once I do that, you can see that there is a saved password here. I can click on it and remove just that one, or I can click on remove all. And if I had many usernames and passwords that were saved, those would be deleted as well. So in this tutorial, what we did is we went over how to clear the history and ensure that usernames and passwords are not saved within two different browsers. And those browsers are Chrome and Firefox. And like I said before, uh, even though um, my computer looks a little bit different from the students' Acers, their computers run Firefox and Chrome. 
And so the steps that I showed you should be the same for the students' computers.